Hello guys and welcome to the first video of this new video series I'm gonna be making. SketchUp plugin reviews. In these videos I'm gonna show you or review if you like some of my favorite plugins for SketchUp. Every video is gonna feature three extensions in no particular order. I'm just gonna choose randomly three extensions at a time. So without further ado, let's begin. Uh, just one thing before we do. I want to cover real fast for those beginners out there how to install a plugin into SketchUp. You can find essentially all available plugins on these two websites, the Extension Warehouse and SketchUcation.com, links in the description. Once you download your plugin from one of these sites in the form of a RBZ file in SketchUp, you will go on the window menu and open the extension manager. Here you will click on this install extension find your rbz file and open it that is it nothing to it so let's get back to our first plugin weld by the smuster team with this plugin you can join multiple connected edges curves and arcs into a single polyline for example your circle curve is no longer joined and the push pull tool creates unwanted unsmooth edges you just select the curves you want to join and activate the weld tool by going under extensions and selecting weld. That is all. It's a very simple but also I'd say indispensable plugin for SketchUp. The only problem with this plugin is the fact that it's kind of hard to reach there in the extensions menu. But you can assign a shortcut to it and that is what I have done. The next one on today's list is called Inneroth upright extruder by Julia Christina Inneroth. Sorry Christina if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. So this plugin practically does the same thing follow me tool does but better. Let me just join this curve with the weld tool. Now follow me tool often twists the geometry of the face it extrudes. Notice how this ramp isn't parallel to the ground anymore. In and off upright extruder keeps the face upright. Check it out. Now that's the way you do it. Here you can also select any vector you want the upright direction to be, but you probably never have to use that option. Last but definitely not least out of the three is the CLF Scale and Rotate Multiple by Chris Fulmer. This plugin lets you scale and rotate components in groups. You can choose between uniform or random. And random you can select minimum and maximum parameters you are also given options for scaling about the components axis component base center point or world axis this plugin is excellent for quickly scaling plants and shrubs to give them a random rotation in size here's an example of what I like to do if I want to maximize the random factor I change the position of the component base point by changing its axis and this way the objects, other than rotating and scaling, also change their position on the ground. If I want, after the transformation I can put the axis of the component right back where it was before. So that is it for our first three plugins of the series. Hope you didn't know about at least one, if not all of them. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite and if you would like to see more of these videos. In the meantime, if you have nothing better to do, share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit like before you go and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.